I'm Sydney Nitskorsky. Today I have just a five minute balance video for you to do. You don't need any equipment. You don't need shoes if you don't want them. We're going to do different exercises changing about every 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and start the clock. Start with your hands on your hips, making a little circle with one leg. I'd say the size of a soccer ball. So for some people, this is super easy. For some people, it's not at all easy. It's very challenging. So if you're, if this is challenging to you, put a hand on a wall or a chair or anything like that. Nice and slow here. You can reverse the direction of your circle. So obviously this is balanced, but I'm starting to feel this in my quad, the top of my leg. Ooh. If you feel like you're wobbling like I just did, go ahead and switch. Pick a spot on the floor, stare at it, push your big toe into the ground. Pull your belly button in, really perfect posture. It's hard to have great balance if you're hunched over, if you're relaxed throughout the core. Get as tall as you possibly can. About 10 more seconds here. I'm gonna do one of my favorite exercises next. All right, single leg toe touch. So I'm gonna use my stopwatch as a focal point. I'm on my right side and I'm just gonna reach forward, touch the ground, and then stand back up, ideally without putting my other leg down. If you lose your balance and you have to put your leg down, that's fine. Or if this is just really challenging for you, kickstand your back leg with a flat back, reach down and up, okay? But if it's not too challenging and you can do this on one leg, it's also a little bit of glute strength at the same time. You get one more in and then switch sides, perfecto. the shoulders down as you're doing this. Just take your time with it. A lot of times when we speed something up and we try and get more reps in, that's when we lose our balance. Ooh. Probably time for one more. And if for some reason getting to the floor just doesn't work for you, maybe put a little block there or something so that you kind of bring the floor up to you. All right. We are going to do swings back and forth. So I'm going to put my arms out to the side for this. And we're just crossing our body, going back and forth. So make sure that standing leg is a little bit bent. Uh-oh. Now I have a balance challenge with Bruno coming in. All right, that's pretty good. Shoulders all the way back. About eight more seconds here. Ha! He was going to take my stopwatch. All right, switch legs. <laughs> Again, hold on to anything for balance if you need to. I love working balance specifically, but anytime you're working balance, you're also working core. There's no way to do one without the other. You can work core without working balance, I guess, but anytime you work balance, you're also challenging your core. Okay, about eight more seconds here. So you could tell I lost my visual spot. I was looking at the stopwatch and that's when I lost my balance. All right, next one. Shake your shoulders out. You're just gonna bring your leg up really high Hold it for a second or two seconds, a little circle, place it back down. Try and stay on that leg. As your leg gets tired, it's going to be harder and harder to pick it up as high, but try your best. A little circle, place it back down. And you can tell I'm barely touching my leg. I'm not resting it. Get one more in. And then other side. I also love balance work because it's not, obviously, balance is the biggest thing we're working on here, but this is also hard on my quad, and it's also hard on my shoulders, just holding my hands up. Get a little taller before when I'm saying it's hard to relax your core and have good balance. Same goes for your height. If you're crunched in here, it's hard to have good balance. Bruno, shush, I'm in the middle of the video. All right, last exercise of the day, hands behind the head. We have one minute left. You're going to bend your knee up like a flamingo, bring it out to the side, back to the front, on repeat. If you need to, you can put your leg down, but if you don't need to, you're just going to repeat it. You can tell my gaze, my head, and my shoulders are straight forward. If you want an extra challenge, you're going to go to the side and let your upper body come with it. You can tell I really have to slow down in order to do that. Last one. <laughs> I lost it right there at the end. Other side. So start with just the easier version, slightly easier. If your leg doesn't go this high, maybe it's you know on your shin. That's fine too. And then once you feel confident in that, 
upper body comes along with. Now nice and slow, I've got my big toe of my standing leg really pushing into the ground. We have time for one last one and then my friends, that's it, that's your five minutes of balance work. Again, I'm Sydney Nitskorski. Feel free to reach out to me at SN Fitnut if you wanna do a 30 minute class with me. I do balance, core, strength, slow paced class or a faster paced class. Hope to see you soon, have a great day, bye.